In this video, I'm going to use these old wooden pallets to make myself a bird hide. So I'm building this today specifically for bird photography, but you might want to build something like this yourself for bird watching or just to enjoy nature in general. As you can see, I've made a start on this already using these wooden pallets. Um, I basically wanted to try and make this hide from materials that were just available to me, try and keep the cost as minimal as possible. So the landowners very kindly provided me with these and also some extra bits of wood, and then I've bought some wood on top of that. So I'm trying to keep this hide as simple as I can. Three wooden pallets together. I'm just gonna put a couple of brackets inside to make sure it's more stable. So this is pretty much the easy bit, the base. The most difficult part of building this is actually to give you that extra height which you need. So I don't want to have it too high because I don't want to use loads of wood. I want to keep it as minimal as possible, uh, but I don't want it too short either because I want some degree of comfort for getting in and out of the hide. So I've decided to go for a height that's just a little bit shorter than me, five foot eight-ish. So this was the bit that required the most amount of thought. And what I decided to do was actually to use this middle piece of the pallet, which is really solid. And I've used a nice thick bit of timber on top of here, screwed in as well. And then that's gonna, I guess it's like a, a joist, is it maybe? This is gonna be my support for my upright pieces of wood. So it's gonna be really nice and solid and it's gonna take all the weight that I'm gonna put on the top part of the hide. Four of these, these are gonna be my upright pieces, which the roof is gonna to attach to. Haven't actually measured it. I've just, I've just done it by eye to judge it so it's a little bit shorter than me. So four of these are gonna go around. There was a robin on my feeder. I haven't even put any food out yet. He's there now waiting. Let's have a quick check it's level. Oh my God. I don't think that's ever happened in my entire life. Right. Now it's time for the roof. And this is the bit I wasn't really looking forward to. Um, this big piece of wood here that the landowners provided me with, which wasn't being used. Believe it or not, this is almost exactly the perfect size for the roof of this hide. So I'm gonna use that square piece of timber to make a frame. Oh, uh, I've messed up. Ah, oh, we're back in a bit. I forgot, I didn't account for that bit on the overlap when you're making a frame. It's dark, it's nearly dark, I've been here that long. Uh, I didn't show me actually getting the roof on top because I didn't know if I was going to make it, but just, just made it. Let's see if it fits. I mean, it should fit, I've measured the damn thing. So that's the majority of the structure up. I just need to put a few more pieces of wood on the sides just to build it up. I want to try and keep this really watertight. So on the roof, I'm going to add a cover, um, which is this big sheet of tarpaulin, which I had going spare. So I'm just going to tuck that underneath and attach it onto the roof. had some rubber, wasn't quite sure what I was going to use it for, uh, but it seems a good idea to use it as a cover for the front window. Uh, sorry about the sound quality, it might not be as good because I, I was in such a rush to bring everything down and get on with this uh, that I forgot the microphone for the camera, so hopefully it's not too bad. I've got this piece of wood here that I've been given as well, which is fairly big, so I definitely want to use this, so I'm going to use this at the back of the hide. I wasn't sure the best way to kind of close my door with this tarpaulin. In the end I've gone for something really simple. I've just basically got two poles and then the tarpaulin is just kind of, I'm just pulling it so it's caught in between. Oh it's so muddy, it's horrendous. Right, what now? 
fun bit. I'm going to put my shelf up. I really wanted to have a shelf because I, I hate using tripods. Uh, not as much as James Pops is. He's one of my favourite YouTubers. Go check out James. If I have a shelf, then I could use a beanbag, which means less to carry. Maybe even leave the beanbag down here. The pallet is perfect because it's already given me quite a nice broad base as a shelf. And then what I'm doing is adding another piece of wood, a nice thick piece of timber, which is just going to make that shelf even wider. Perfect for the beanbag, big lens, perfect support. I'm getting muddier by the second. Uh, anyway, I want to have a big window at the front because I like being able to see what's coming. Uh, I don't like really small windows on heights. Well, I don't want the whole lens to be the window, so I've just used a few pieces of wood on either side just to make the window a little smaller. This rubber here that I've used as a cover for the front window, I'm going to have some netting inside as well, but I just wanted a bit of a, um, a, bit of a cover to keep the rain off. I'm just going to at attach this piece of wood at the bottom and then the idea is I can kind of roll it up in some way. You've probably noticed I've still got some gaps on the walls of the hide. Um, so I'm going to fill them in. So again, I'm going to use whatever I've got. Uh, any leftover wood, I've got some of the, uh, the rubber that's left over. And I've also got some underlay which I had at home, which was spare. Now time to put the netting up. I just drill a few screws into the wood and then hang the netting over the window. So yeah, I've still got a few gaps. Um, I'm gonna get a few branches, like bits of scrub, and fill in the gaps and just put that around, probably around the base of the hide. Uh, it just helps to blend in a little bit more and also it'll help to shelter from the wind a little bit as well. I hope you didn't click on the video for DIY advice because uh, I'm not the best, but um, I'll make do. It's fun anyway. Oh. I've been Paul Miguel and I've been very muddy. Um, if you want to see more photography, vlogs and tutorials, then click one of these videos here and also subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.